going to introduce you to a really simple and easy and gentle energy freeing sequence. So this is perfect if you've been on your feet all day, even if you've been sat at a desk all day, you're feeling tired and sluggish. While it's simple, gentle and easy, it brings a whole load of energy back into the system and could just be the tonic you need. So feel free to use this at any time or indeed parts of it. So to start, I would recommend having at least one block just to help you with your seated alignment. So, or a cushion or a blanket. So stretch your feet out in front of you, sitting up as aligned as you can. And if you feel like using your hands behind you for support, that's absolutely perfect. But I just want you to think about taking the shoulders back and down, lifting through the sternum, having some engagement through your core to support you as well. So we're going to start with the toes. And the thing about this sequence is, the, the thing is, is to breathe deeply and to focus on making your movement match the length of your breath. And the slower you move, the slower you breathe, the more effective this practice, the more restorative this practice will become. So to start, we're going to start with a really simple, just curling the toes towards you and then curling the toes away. Breathing in as you curl the toes towards you, breathing out as you curl them away. This may be a bit awkward if you've never done it before. <laughs> so just go with that. So we're breathing in, we're breathing out. Our focus is on the breath with the movement. Good. And then let's draw the whole foot towards us, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, making the movement match the length of your breath. You're doing six or seven rounds of each one. Or if your feet are particularly stiff, you can do more. <laughs> so just make this work for you. Good. And now we're going to turn the feet in and then out. So we're breathing in as we turn the feet in. We're breathing out as we turn the feet away. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. These things do feel a bit awkward to start with, but we're getting into parts of the body that we don't generally move and where stagnant energy can build up and pull us down. We just want to free all that. Make it nice and relaxing for yourself. Okay, we're going to go for ankle rotations now. So feel free to lean back a bit further if that's appropriate for you. Take the feet slightly further apart. We're going to push the feet away as we breathe out. Draw the feet towards us, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Allow for a gentle bend in the knees. Breathing out. Sorry, breathing out there. And then breathing in, coming into the other direction. So you're breathing in as you draw the feet towards you. You're breathing out as you push the feet away. Good. And then we're going to draw. So here you really need to work with the core again. Make sure you're sitting up tall. We're going to draw one knee towards us. Breathing in, drawing the heel in towards the sitting bone. Exhale, extending the leg away. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
Tuning into your breath. Tuning into your body. Now remember that if you've got your bump here, you may need to take your foot slightly out to the side to allow for the bumpage room. <laughs> so feel free to do that. So coming into a position that works for you and that works for your baby. Breathing in. Breathing out. Try and keep the other leg engaged so it's not totally flopping about. Breathing in. Breathing out. And last one. Good, okay. Now continuing just one more with the hips and ankles. We're just going to inhale as we, so we turn the foot to the side. You'll definitely want to lie back, well, lean back onto your hands. Now we're gonna turn the foot to the side, taking the foot away, bring it towards us. So the foot's turning out as you breathe in and then turning in as you breathe out, drawing that foot back towards the center line, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And then let's go for the other side, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. So making your movement match the length, making your breath match the length of your movement. So we extend our arms out ahead of us and all we do is extend the fingers out, inhale as we curl the fingers, tuck the thumb in, curl the fingers over, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, matching the movement to the length of your breath, which really makes these exercises really meditative, meditative for you. Okay, and then we're going to move into exhaling the hands down, inhaling them up. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling, inhaling, Good, and then we're going to turn the palms to face one another, draw the thumbs towards you, draw them away. Again, this is tapping into parts of the body that we just don't stretch out and where stagnant energy gets held. So this is gonna make you feel better. It seems so simple, but it's so effective. Let's just take one more. You'll also get a nice little arm workout here as well. Okay, let's move into rotating the wrists. So, breathing out as you turn them down, breathing in as you draw them up. And then making sure that you go in both directions. really good especially if you've been typing all day and you know good and then just release out the shoulders give the hands a little shake you're good to go so moving up into the shoulders now we're going to extend the hands out in front of us 
turn the palms up towards the ceiling and then we're going to draw the fingers towards the shoulders. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Making sure that your sitting position is supporting you so that you feel comfortable to just concentrate on the shoulders and again allowing the movement to coincide with the length of your breath. Well done. Now keep the fingertips on the shoulders and let's start to make some big circles with the elbows. So exhaling as you bring the elbows together, inhaling as you open up the chest. Good, exhale, inhale. Feel the shoulder blades sliding up and down the back. And remembering to have that gentle support through your core just by hugging your baby in slightly. Well done. And then going in the other direction, breathing in as you open, breathing out as you bring the elbows together. This will really help relieve tension in the neck and shoulders, which just goes with the territory of being pregnant. So you're bound to feel better after this one. Good, relax the hands down, maybe just give your shoulders a little shrug. And then we're going to extend the arms up, breathing in, exhale, draw the hands behind us, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Again, this is wonderful for bringing breath and energy into the system. Breathing in. Breathing out, just make sure that you're not overextending through the ribs, that you're keeping that core nice and supported. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And then again, just give your shoulders a little shrug. Well done. <laughs> So we're going to move through a very short sequence to just get the spine moving in all directions. So let's go for uh, easy cross-legged or choose something else if it's more comfortable for you, using blocks to support you sitting up nice and aligned. We're going to exhale as we round our spine and then inhale as we lift through the sternum and then looking up slightly, being careful not to crick the back of the neck, but keeping lots of space there. Exhale, drawing in, rounding the spine. Inhale, leading through the heart, looking up, keeping the neck long, lots of space. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lifting, smiling. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, let's take two more. This is like a sitting version of our cat and cow that you may have been used to doing on hands and knees. Just really opens the chest. Get some gentle movement through the spine. Good, let's come back to centre. Let's now take one hand down to the side. Inhale, lift the other hand up. Just up towards the ceiling, breathing in. If you feel you can go a bit further, then feel free to take that over to one side. And here, keep the palm facing down, lift through the heart. And you can even shift the gaze to the fingertips, but make sure your hand is somewhere that you can see it. Good, and then we're going to exhale, take that hand down, inhale, lift the other hand up, just up to the ceiling initially, and then if you feel you want to go further, you take it just slightly further. Gaze is towards the fingertips, and again, making sure you can see your hand, keeping length in the back of the neck. Good, so let's just go through that breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And again, just taking that to wherever is comfortable. Taking care, keeping your sitting bones grounded. There's no need to go further than feels good. Keep the breathing. 
in time with the movement. Good, and then come back to centre. So the third, the third movement is a twist. So we're going to take the left hand over to the right knee and take the right hand behind you. Lift up through the heart and then look over the shoulder. And just let's take a few breaths here. So we're just being really kind to ourselves here, just moving to where is comfortable, where feels good. There's no need to overdo it. Just be very kind to yourself. And make sure as you're looking back that you're keeping the length of the neck. You're maintaining that. Just tuck the chin down slightly. Let's inhale, come to centre, exhale, take it to the other side. So with these three movements, we've moved the spine forwards and backwards, side to side and in a rotation. Great for looking after the spine and also for releasing energy and making you feel better. You may find that one side is different to the other. That's okay. Keep the length in the back of that neck. Breathing nice and deeply and then exhale as you come back to centre. Well done. So let's just start by breathing out as we tuck the chin to the chest. Breathing in as we extend through the throat, keeping length in the back of the neck. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, lengthening through. Exhale, chin to chest. You can close your eyes here and make this super relaxing. Think about the movement coming from between the shoulder blades. Moving in time with the breath. Good, and then we can take right ear to right shoulder and then left ear to left shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out, bringing the ear to the shoulder. Breathe in to come to centre, Breathe out, come over to the other shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Well done, just keep it easy. Notice how the movement actually starts to increase after a few times. One more each side, good. Keep your heart lifted throughout these movements. Keep the shoulders back and down. And then we're just going to turn the head to one side as we exhale, breathing in to centre. Looking over to the other side or keeping the eyes closed, whatever works for you. Breathing in, breathing out. Feeling the movement coming from between the shoulder blades. Freeing up the neck, freeing up the shoulders. This is going to make you feel better. Keep the breath slow. Good. Make sure that you even up both sides. And then come back to centre. Well done. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to move into a couple of energizing full body um, movements now. So I'd like you to think about your posture as you're sitting nice and aligned, using your tummy muscles, keeping the heart lifted, shoulders back and down, keep the legs engaged. We're going to start by extending the hands towards the knees. Then we're going to inhale as we lift one hand up and then exhale as we bring it down. And then we're going to lift the other hand. Exhale as we bring it down. And then we're going to Go for the two, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So the gaze is ahead of you. Breathing in, breathing out and just increasing the movement as you, as your body starts to free up a little bit. Engage the legs, 
keep the core engaged, bringing energy into the system. Let's go for one more on each side. Good, and then come back to center. Then we're gonna take the feet slightly wider apart, take the hands together, and we're going to extend the hands over and forwards, and then bring them back towards us. So we're gonna exhale as we lift, move the hands away, inhale as we lean back, exhaling. So again, we're keeping that support through the core, we're leading with the heart. We're tilting the pelvis forwards and backwards as we move. And then let's go in the other direction. Nice big circles. Nice for the abdominals. Moving into the whole body nice and gently. Good, and then coming back to center. Well done. Mm -hmm.